And here we go, we got our first vessel coming in for the day. Welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are down here at Black Point Marina. And our crew is coming in. They look okay so far. But I'm not sure what Cap's trying to pull here. He's trying to go to the port or starboard side. So now it looks like he's kind of changing direction, probably going for a starboard side dock. And he's going to start to turn that back. But I think that current's grabbed him a little bit, and they might be in a little bit of trouble here. So the stern's starting to kick around. We've got our guy in the bow. It looks like ready to roll on the lines. Cap brake checks it. He kind of waves the arm for a minute. But now Cap's going in reverse. Our guy's got the line, but he doesn't have it tight. Cap's going to run to the stern to try and push off the boat behind him. And man, a lot of action rolling pretty quickly. It was an interesting approach. Once again, I couldn't really tell which dock he was even going for at first. But that wind and current just grabbed him, started pulling him to the port side. And then all of a sudden when they came back starboard, this is how we wound up. But there we go. They get the push off, get a line in the dock. And our first boat of the day should be good to go from here. So our van is stuck, but this is one of those dangerous stucks, as you're about to see. That reverse light's not on. It is now, but it wasn't there, and he was sliding backwards. Our guy has been sliding back down the ramp. So here he backs up again to take a little pressure off the van again and get the boat floating a little bit, try and get a little bit of a running start. But here we go. Now the tires break free, and he's sliding backwards again. That's the one you don't want to see. So it's one thing for me to see these guys start rolling and the tires start spinning and they kind of stall. But when I'm seeing them start to roll backwards, we start to get a little nervous that we're about to lose a vehicle to Black Point. So that's a different approach. I mean, it's not a truck. So instead of getting in the bed, we just toss some people into the back of the van. And again, tires spinning. And again, we are rolling backwards. So we're going to add some more people inside the van. I mean, let me know in the comments. How many people is it going to take? How many people do we got to toss inside the back? of? I believe this is a sprinter and to, to get this up the ramp. And I'll be honest, I haven't counted at this point, so I'm not sure how many are in there. So another attempt at it. And again, same spot. Just breaking free on those tires. So we're obviously going to need some more people, it sounds like, to get this one up. So here we go again. Another attempt at it, but the tires are spinning already, man. They are just not... I'm wondering if those tires aren't bald, because they're not getting very good traction. And the driver might be getting a little frustrated now as well, which can add to this, because all of a sudden, if you start giving it a little too much gas, you're just going to help the tire break free. Sometimes slow and steady is the easiest way to pull this. And then other times, just gun it. Be a full send guy and let her rip, tater chip. So there's definitely some discussion going on now amongst the people who are in the back of the van and the guy who's standing on the tongue of the trailer. And here we go, two more people into the clown van. Hate to call it that, but we're getting to that point. So here we go again. Let's see if those last two people can push us over the edge. Getting a little higher this time. We're almost there. The tires just broke free at the last second, but they were definitely much closer to getting out that time than they had been on any other attempt. So I'm not sure what the game plan is now. Do we try and shift weight? Do we try and add some more people to this? But again, their tire broke free so early there that he didn't stand a chance. He just had too much gas behind him before he could really get it going. Mm -hmm. 
And at this point, what point do you start cranking back down on the winch to try and see if you can get the boat a little further up on the trailer? And oh, I mean, just right there on the edge at that last second it broke free on him. So we got two more guys on the dock. I guess we can throw these guys into the mix as well. And here we go. <laughs> he looks in the van like, bro, how many people you got in there? And now he's on the bow of the boat. I'm gonna get a little hop action going as well. <laughs> I, man, this one's just a little amusing to me. I don't know why. I just, the only thing, it'll only be amusing actually if they get out. The last thing I wanna see happen is the van slide in, especially with that many people in the van. So here we go, one more time. And again, no. There, oh, that was close. Our guy got off the tongue and stood behind the van and that's not a good thing as the van's going backwards. So I can't tell now, maybe he's on the ground pushing now? No, I think he left. So the guy who's on the tongue is trying to step into the van, and again, one more time, just not going. I mean, at what point in time do you switch up the strategy on this? Well, they have him back down this time, so he's just keeping it up there, trying to keep it spinning and going. Not a terrible idea, because he's starting to inch his way out. And there you go. I think we're going to get it this time. And our crew is going to make their way out of here, finally. So, one, two, three, four. Five. Six. At least six. There might, there had to be more than six in there, but that's all I could count that was coming out. So our crew's coming in on approach, but the trick here that you want to look at is our van is back in the water. <laughs> so the van didn't like the way the boat was sitting on the trailer. They've backed back onto the ramp and the boat is back in the water. So this isn't like deja vu. They literally pulled out and backed back in. And I'm curious to see if they're going to have issues getting out one more time. So it looks like the boat right in front of us having a little trouble getting on the dock as well. Cap leaves the helm here. He's pushing off, but he's in reverse. This boat's going backwards, so he's definitely going for a ride. He needs to get that thing back into neutral before he winds up hitting the motor into the dock. And here we go. He goes back to the helm. And now we're going to pull off the dock on this one. But my question is now, does this van, here we go. We can see them starting to pull out. Do they get off? So the van's up there, our crew's still going on second attempt, and yes, their first attempt on the van did not come out. But it looks like the second attempt from the van will work this time, and they will get it out with a little less effort than they did the last time, and I'm guessing they got the trailer where they want it. And our crew that reverse into the dock, they're coming into the dock. And they're going to have a soft landing, and they'll be good. And speaking of being good, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, crew. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.